In this video, I'm going to show you important steps you need to take during or before your clearance. Now, this is the portal for you to check your name on the jam matriculation list. So, as you can see, my name is on the jam matriculation list. Now, if you're wondering why you need to do some of the steps I'm about to mention, let's read the instruction from jam. It says it is important that you confirm your name from the matriculation list. Only candidates whose names are on the list are recognized as bona fide students from the various accredited institutions. By implication, if your name is not on this list, your application to NYC scheme for the one year national service shall be declined. To qualify to be on the matriculation list, print your admission letter online from the eFacility platform, print your results slip online from the eFacility platform, verify the two documents with the admission officer in your institution. So you can see to check your name on the matriculation list is very important and to have your name on the matriculation list is also very, very important. Now for you to be able to qualify, you need to have this document here. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this document and as well how to accept your admission on JAM CAPS. Now let's get into it. Now to print your JAM results, I'm in the main JAM website, so you simply go to the eFacility. Now from the eFacility, you click on create eFacility account slash login. You type in your jam details, the correct jam details. Make sure you don't make the mistake. Let's say you have written jam for you have written jam twice. Don't use an old email and register. Otherwise, you're going to print the results for a, a year that you're not actually going to use. So click on login. Make sure your details are correct. Now on your dashboard, you click on print results slip. Now choose the pay with remitter option. Click continue to payment. When doing this, make sure you are paying to the correct account. So now if you want to use the online payments, you click pay now. If you want to pay through a bank, you click on print. When you print this, you take it to any bank and you must use this RRR number. What is important in everything in this document is this. Make sure you pay to the correct RRR number when paying to the bank. But if you're paying directly from your MasterCard as written here or Visa or online remitter or whatever services that don't require you to go to a bank fiscally, Continue with pay now. So now we're going to be paying with Remita. So everything is already filled in. Click on submit. Note there is a charge here, so you're going to pay 1161.25 naira. So, when your documents are correct, you click on submit. So from this option, you can choose any one that best suits you. You have a variety of options. You can pay with your card. If you're paying with your card, you impute your card number. The card number is the long number written on the front of your card. The expiry date is just beneath it. And then the CVV is the number at the back of your card, usually three digits number. So if you don't want to pay, you can pay with a bank account. You can pay bank branch so you can choose any option you want and then you click on pay 
so when you click on pay you'll be automatically able to download a pdf of your jam results so because i already have mine i'm not going to pay i'm just simply going to cancel but you have to go through it if you have not paid before So when you're done paying for it, you will be able to download a PDF of your jam results. Now, after paying for your jam results and getting a copy, I would advise you to back up your copy with Google Drive or, or whichever way is better for you. But make sure you have a backup of your jam results because after some particular time, you have to pay to be able to print your jam results again. So make sure you get a copy unless you're okay with paying money at intervals. So the next thing we have to do is check our admission, is get a copy of our admission letter. So to do this, the procedure is almost similar to printing, sorry, to paying for your jam results. So I'm not going to go through it again. So just follow through the procedure you use to pay for your jam results and pay for your admission letter. And if you're not okay with paying for it by yourself, you can always take it to a bank or you can always go to a cyber cafe to, so that somebody else can pay for you. So another thing you need to do is check your is to check your for your name on the jam caps. So to do that, click on check admission status. Now you type in your jam matriculation number and you click on access my jam caps or if you've already checked it before you can click on check admission status so if you're new click on access my caps this will take you to the jam caps dashboard now from here now from here you can click on check my admission status now as you can see I've already accepted my admission so this is the message I'm getting but if you have not accepted your admission you can always click on this accept admission button here you can see this message says congratulations you have accepted admission so make sure you do you make sure you print your your results you print your admission letter you accept your admission on jam caps you can do it it does not have to be in this in a particular manner it's not necessarily in this order you can always do one before the other so then when you're through doing these three steps you can now check for your name in the jam matriculation list. So to do this, just simply type jam matriculation in your browser. And then click on matriculation list. So from here, you select your exam year. So if you're if you're checking for 2020, you you choose 2020, but I'm going to be checking for another year. So you simply click it, and then type in your admission your reg number, and then click find my details. So as you can see, when your name is on the list, you see this congratulations message congratulations you are on the matriculation list it will show you your name show you your course and then show you your institution so we have done these steps you have printed your admission letter you've printed your jam result you have accepted your admission on caps and then you have checked your name on the matriculation list you can be sure that, sure that when you do your clearance, you should have no issues later on. So if you found this video helpful, try to share to your friends to make sure they are doing your clearance correctly. Consider subscribing to the channel and share the love. Thank you for watching.